The Pakistani journalist Tariq Ali examines the mass media influence promoted by imperialism. Get access to the analysis of the socio-economic and political life of the whole South America on our screen and platform in English. A critical place committed to the truth to determine the major events that transform the world today. The World Today On Monday, only on Telesur. Events told by their main figures. Research findings that transcend our people's views. Monsanto se ve entre un buen sector de los agricultores como una gran amenaza. Hay un montón de gente que se va a Pani a trabajar, a otro sitio a trabajar. No tienes que estar aquí siempre para que ayude a tu pueblo. Desde entonces estoy buscando a mi nieto. Por gente liberada, he sabido que es un varón. Hace poco ha cumplido seis años. Alguien lo tiene. No somos simples estudiantes que venimos, entramos, escuchamos la clase de un profesor y después nos levantamos y nos vamos, sino que entendemos lo que pasa y sobre todo tenemos que ser sujetos de cambio frente a lo que pasa y tenemos que tener un rol eh, en nuestra educación y en nuestra sociedad. Telesur Report, on Monday, only on Telesur. Closely follow the most important facts around the world with a wholesome view. We offer you to be where the news are happening with our team of 25 correspondents deployed around the globe. Live and experience the realities of our people from the south. Monday to Friday, just in Telesur. Our north is the south.
Pakistani journalist Tariq Ali examines the mass media influence promoted by imperialism. Get access to the analysis of the socio-economic and political life of the whole South America on our screen and platform in English. A critical place committed to the truth to determine the major events that transform the world today. The World Today. On Monday. Only on Telesur. Closely follow the most important facts around the world with a wholesome view. We offer you to be where the news are happening with our team of 25 correspondents deployed around the globe. Live and experience the realities of our people from the south. Monday to Friday, just in Telesur, our north is the south.
Pakistani journalist Tariq Ali examines the mass media influence promoted by imperialism. Get access to the analysis of the socio-economic and political life of the whole South America on our screen and platform in English. A critical place committed to the truth to determine the major events that transform the world today. The World Today On Monday, only on Telesur. Events told by their main figures. Research findings that transcend our people's views. Monsanto se ve entre un buen sector de los agricultores como una gran amenaza. Hay un montón de gente que se va a pan y a trabajar, a otro sitio a trabajar. No tienes que estar aquí siempre para que ayude a tu pueblo. Desde entonces estoy buscando a mi nieto. Por gente liberada, he sabido que es un varón. Hace poco ha cumplido seis años. Alguien lo tiene. No somos simples estudiantes que venimos Entramos, escuchamos la clase de un profesor y después nos levantamos y nos vamos, sino que entendemos lo que pasa y sobre todo tenemos que ser sujetos de cambio frente a lo que pasa y tenemos que tener un rol eh, en nuestra educación y en nuestra sociedad. Telesur Report, on Monday, only on Telesur. Closely follow the most important facts around the world with a wholesome view. 
We offer you to be where the news are happening with our team of 25 correspondents deployed around the globe. Live and experience the realities of our people from the south. Monday to Friday, just in Tel Azur. Our north is the south. Events told by their main figures. Research findings that transcend our people's views. Monsanto se ve entre un buen sector de los agricultores como una gran amenaza. Hay un montón de gente que se va a Pania a trabajar, a otro sitio a trabajar. No tienes que estar aquí siempre para que ayude a tu pueblo. Desde entonces estoy buscando a mi nieto. Por gente liberada, he sabido que es un varón. Hace poco ha cumplido seis años. Alguien lo tiene. No somos simples estudiantes que venimos, entramos, escuchamos la clase de un profesor y después nos levantamos y nos vamos, sino que entendemos lo que pasa y sobre todo tenemos que ser sujetos de cambio frente a lo que pasa y tenemos que tener un rol eh, en nuestra educación y en nuestra sociedad. Telesur Report, on Monday, only on Telesur. The Pakistani journalist Tariq Ali examines the mass media influence promoted by imperialism. Get access to the analysis of the socio-economic and political life of the whole South America on our screen and platform in English. A critical place committed to the truth to determine the major events that transform the world today. The world today. On Monday, only on Telesur. Pakistani journalist Tariq Ali examines the mass media influence promoted by imperialism. Get access to the analysis of the socio-economic and political life of the whole South America on our screen and platform in English. A critical place committed to the truth to determine the major events that transform the world today. The world today. On Monday. Only on Telesur.
Good afternoon and welcome back to Telezua English. This is From the South, our news brief from Caracas, Venezuela. I'm Ray Gomez and we start this new edition right now. Fourteen days after Hurricane Maria wreaked havoc across Puerto Rico, the governor Ricardo Rosselló says the distribution of fuel is gradually being restored. But the humanitarian situation in much of the island remains critical, with no electricity or communications. Shortages of water and food are also widespread. The U.S. President Donald Trump is due to visit Puerto Rico on Tuesday. People in the northeast of Puerto Rico are still threatened by a dam that was dangerous damage by Hurricane Maria. They complain the authorities haven't given them enough information. Our team on the ground has the story. Repair crews work against the clock to fix the damage to the dam on Lake Oaxaca. The cracks that appeared after Hurricane Maria have everyone on alert. Don Ismael Rivera hasn't slept at home since September the 22nd, when his community was evacuated for fear of flooding. When he can, he comes back to check on his dogs and his belongings. It's been exhausting, but we've also learned from this. Because in all these years, we've never experienced anything like it. There was a lot of confusion. You can imagine how we felt. Everyone here feels the uncertainty over the future of the dam, which was built in 1929. I haven't been able to see my father because he's in Isabella, and we have no gasoline. We have no way of communicating. The threat for the river is present all the time. We're afraid of going out because it could burst and sweep us away. In this part of the island, the damage from the hurricane is obvious. Here in Quebradillas, they've had no drinking water since September the 20th. Two weeks later, they're getting very limited deliveries of water, and they also lack food. I didn't think it would do anything, but it was a big one. It did a lot of damage here. It brought down the avocado trees and everything. The electricity system and telecommunications will take up to six months to get up and running again. The solar energy farms and some of the fuel depots were also damaged. The relief effort in Dominica is slowly reaching more of those affected by Hurricane Maria, which destroyed much of the Caribbean island more than two weeks ago. There are still severe shortages of energy and water, but supplies are now reaching most of the outlying areas. Hotlines have been set up, and many medical facilities are working with help from international teams. Our correspondent in Dominica, Reagan Veen, has been following one of the Cuban medical teams that bringing relief to those injured by Hurricane Maria. This is his report. A secondary school. Partially destroyed by Hurricane Maria, it's now a shelter for those without a home. Young ones play outside, a distraction between meals. The elderly here are given food first, the first of three meals daily. Some sit in silence, wondering what's next. They've all been here for about a week, sitting, hoping, praying. Today, an unexpected surprise. Doctors from a neighboring Caribbean island, Cuba. Uh, so waste here and this percent it risks for the populations because of the vectors, the mosquitoes, 
We have also accumulated water in some areas and with, which could cause uh, mosquitoes and they spread mosquito, they spread diseases such as dengue, chikungunya, chikungunya and some others. There's no uh, water is not the Cubans were here in Dominica before Hurricane Maria struck. With a permanent medical station set up on the island, they were the first international responders. Once again, the hand of solidarity from the Cubans. I think you, but now it's not time for tea. These are the heroes after Hurricane Maria, here to work, give relief, to heal. An old man with a diabetic dilemma his toes cut off to save the foot. The date he returns home remains unknown. I need to go to my home. I don't deserve to be here. He does not go unseen. His is a tale all too familiar in this hurricane month of September. There are shelters like these all across the island.